Hello, say shut up. Millions of people struggle every day to achieve their goals, whatever these goals might be. These people dedicate time and energy and money to achieve a goal that they have set for themselves. However, unless you act strategically, this struggle for big life goals can become a source of frustration. You can lose a good part of your life trying to reach impossible goals and the time wasted can never be recovered. But now, if I told you there is an easier way to achieve these goals, what if I reveal the strategy that very successful people use to fulfill objective after objective? This strategy exists and it's called modeling people. Modeling people is deconstructing what a person has done to achieve a particular goal that you want to achieve as well. By following the same steps of that person, you can have the same results. All the goals that you have today in your life have already been achieved by someone somewhere. Someone has already lost 10 kilos. They have already gotten a new job. They have already founded a company. Someone has learned the language that you want to learn. They have written books and lost their fear of public speaking and so on. And because of this, a very practical and safe way for you to be achieving your goals is to model what all the people did to achieve these goals. And when I say modeling, that means that you should be using that person who reached the goal as a model, as an example. Let me illustrate. Let's say that you are a computer programmer and you want to work at Google. Instead of preparing your resume and just applying for a job at the company, a smarter strategy would be to look at people who already work at Google to understand what they did to get the job there. What courses did they take? What skills did they demonstrate? What steps did they have to go through in the selection process? What you have to do is a kind of a reverse engineering. You have to see the person who achieved something you want and you have to ask yourself, what did they do to achieve this? What steps did they take to get from where they were, where you want to go as well? Tony Robbins says that modeling the best people in the world is the main key to success. You need to have a mentality in which you think, if they can do it, so can I. Success leaves clues. You can take advantage of the fact that people love talking about their own achievements to understand how they got there. And one of the challenges in the art of modeling people is to understand exactly how these successful people achieved what you want to achieve as well. How did they lose weight? How did they make so much money? How did they learn that particular skill? The good news is that people love talking about themselves and their own achievements. You can just go to any bookstore and see there is a huge amount of books of successful people telling all their stories in great detail. You can also look in social networks and see people who love showing, displaying uh, the struggles they had, all the obstacles they had to face to achieve what they have today. And even if in your case uh, you have something very specific and if you don't find any of this published, you can always find people who have already achieved what you want. You can just ask them. You can say, hey, I really admire what you achieved. I'm struggling to achieve something similar. Could you please tell me how you did it? Chances are pretty big that this person will be happy to be recognized, they will see this as a compliment and they will be willing to tell their story. Of course, they're not going to act like a consultant and give you a step-by-step -step guide for your case, but they'll gladly tell you how they achieved the goal and your job is just to adapt that story to your reality. The biggest mistake when modeling people is simply copying. You need to adapt this strategy to your context. Modeling people means learning to do something by repeating someone else's behavior. This is the natural way in which humans learn everything. That is how we learn how to speak and how to walk and how to eat. Well, Albert Bandura already defined this concept in psychology already in the 1960s and since then has been studied to understand how people learn how to do things. But there is a problem in the whole story. The problem of simply wanting to copy everything that the other person did without adapting that strategy to your context, to your personal characteristics. For example, let's say that one of your goals is to start a company. You decide to open a restaurant in your neighborhood and then you learn about the art of modeling successful stories. So then you think and you decide to copy the strategy that Ray Kroc used to transform McDonald's into the largest chain of fast food in the world. Will this work? Will you be able to apply in your diner 
today where you live the same strategy that was used by Ray Kroc in the United States in the 1950s. Mm. Modeling is not simply copying, it is to understand what the person did to get there. In order for this, you need to understand the concepts behind each step taken. You need to think about how to use that concept and apply that to your place, to your time, to the people around you. If you don't adapt the strategy, it's very likely that you only reap frustration when you try to copy the impossible. The right way to model people needs three steps. You need to be choosing the right person, you need to be asking for help, and also you need to be creating your own strategy. The art of modeling people the right way is based upon three pillars. The first one is to choose the right model. The second one is to ask for help. And then the last one is to create your own strategy, adapting everything to your life context. Choosing the right person is not simply finding someone who has already achieved whatever it is that you want to achieve. Please don't try to be copying just the best people in the world. The idea is just to find the right person who has achieved the same goal starting from conditions pretty similar to your conditions, the conditions that you have today. For example, if your goal is to become a successful entrepreneur, but you're not coming from a wealthy family, the ideal thing is to find a person who has managed to undertake this project by coming from a background, a situation similar to yours. If you choose to model a businessman who came from a wealthy family and had all the resources, all the education, all the financial support to create that company, it is quite unlikely that that strategy will be applicable to you. Likewise, a strategy that was used in Europe after the Second World War is unlikely to be applicable in the creation of a company today in Silicon Valley in America in the 21st century. You also should not choose too many people to model. For example, if you want to lose 10 kilos, you can't model someone who did this with a paleo diet, someone else who did a vegan diet, and someone else who did a bariatric surgery. The strategies will be conflicting. The idea is that you have only one or two models for your goal and then apply a similar strategy. Ask for help to understand what a person has done to achieve the goal that you want. And then you have to adapt what you have learned to your reality. The second step is to ask for help. And this can be done directly with the person uh, being asked for the questions that you have and how they did to achieve what you want to achieve. This can be done indirectly by reading books that that person has written, by seeing what they published in social networks or looking for interviews that they gave to the press, for example. In some cases, this second step can also involve hiring. If that person today acts as a teacher, as a consultant, as a mentor, maybe you can see if you can hire them to teach you how they got where they are. The last step is to take this strategy and adapt it to your reality. What steps has that person, that model person taken that you can take with the conditions that you have today? What steps do you need to take to reach the same conditions that they had? What worked in their place and time that needs to be adjusted to your place and time? What personal characteristics does that person have that maybe you don't have. Modeling people, you see, is not just blindly copying everything that a person has done to achieve what they have achieved. You will not be elected the best football player in the world simply by copying everything that Lionel Messi did, simply because of his conditions and time and personal skills are his alone. But you can become a better soccer player by understanding how he trains, how he thinks, how he plays. The goal is not to become the other person. The goal is to become a better version of yourself. And once you have a strategy adapted to your personal context, then it is ideal to have all the steps that you need to take written down in a complete life plan. And this life plan must contain everything from your highest personal values to the next practical step that you need to take to achieve the goal that you just modeled. And to start putting together this plan right now, I invite you to attend a special class in the Planning Your Life course on personal values. You can just watch that special class by going to arata.se forward slash planning your life.